everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77. Today we're starting a new series. It's a modded series and it's called Sky Adventures. You can see it right here. This is done by Feed the Beast, FTB. This was released uh, just a few days ago, I think four or five actually now. And uh, I, I thought this would be kind of fun to work with. So we're going to start this up here in just a second. Um, this should be a lot of fun. It looks kind of cool. Uh, you can find this on the Twitch launcher. So if you go there, you can download it and you can play along. This is kind of like a Skyblock series in a way. So we're going to start this up right away and we're going to get set up and we'll see how it goes. We're going to create a new world here and I'm going to call it, well, whatever. Let's see here. T77. It doesn't really matter. And we're going to hit create new world. Now this, I've gone in and I played just a little bit of this, maybe 15 minutes worth. And it's really a lot of fun. The graphics are very clean. Um, it has some nice things in here so we're going to see what it is and i'm going to show you here in just a second so you start out instead of the typical tree uh that you've seen like in a sky factory or something you start out on a little bit of an island okay so here we are we're on this island you can see it looks very cool this is the giving tree but you can see that the that fonts look nice the map up at the top right you can see it looks kind of good um, everything just looks really nice so anyway we are here and there are two books on our inventory, this Akashic Tome and the Quest Book. Now, if you open the Akashic Tome, look at it. It has all of the manuals from all the various mods that have manuals are here. I don't really need this at the moment, so I'm going to put it away. But this is the Quest Book, and this is what we're going to use for a lot of this, at least starting out. If you open up this Quest Book, it's got a lot of... Uh, trees and organization here you can see it's got different things like making uh sieves and you've got uh crooks like we've done in many series but they have a lot of these they have various things for weaponry or for the ores you have to get or the food and just different things now one thing they have here is money and there is money in this game and various items cost money things like uh this it looks like i don't know what this is probably a, a chicken egg of some sort uh costs five dollars whereas this thing over here is twenty thousand dollars whatever it is i'm not quite sure can't get it obviously but and we're going to start this out the one of the first quests we have here is money 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 okay so if you click on it basically on the left side it tells you what you need it says 16 wood planks and it says it consumes that item so get those and they're gone but it will give us two dollar bills three 25 cents and uh six one cents or six pennies okay so we're going to start this out right away by uh, getting a block here. I'm going to take out this block first. Okay, there we go. I got the sign and the block. Now, you can use ore uh, extractor, extraction of this kind of like vein miner. Ooh, what is that? What is that like? Why am I jumping here? Is auto jump on? Don't like that. Auto jump is now off. Okay, so what you can do is if you hold down the tilde key, which is the button right next to number one, and... Hold it down while you mine with a block. In essence, it just takes out the whole entire tree. So that's great. Now, this does not have fast uh, leaf um, despawning, but that's okay. So anyway, here we go. We've got that, right? So let's do this first quest really quick. So we need to get 16 planks. There they are. Okay. Now, it said it will consume them. So if I go back to the quest book here... And I go back over that. You can see it says 16. I'll click it. And then all of these right here are have a little red exclamation mark. And I can get those. And they've given me all those items. See? Down in my hair. Dollar bills, the quarters, and the pennies. Now that's great. Now let's go to the next one. They're, these things are related here. So if I go right here to the wallet, is a place to store your money. It costs two twenty-five cents. I'll click that. I've already have that in my inventory. And click... There we go. I have now have a wallet in my inventory right here. And if I right click on that, I can store the money. So that's kind of cool. This is our, this is all the money we have. Okay. I see things dropping. I'm going to grab it here. So I wanted to show you those two things first before we really get into working on some quests. So now let's look around what's here. There is an old fishing hole. It looks all dried up. Okay. That's kind of interesting. And more stuff here. Here's a bear trap. I believe this will stop mobs uh, in, in their tracks. It doesn't affect you when you go over it. You don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to keep it there for now. I probably can move it with a pick. And then up here, 
tfox83 i'm not sure if this this may possibly is the person who made this or made this map maybe i'm not sure i'm gonna hit that really quick oops i got the block behind it that wasn't what i meant let's go right here ah there we go that gave me um the alchemist's best friend oh, i want to get that block there hold on apparently that was painted something painted glowstone okay we'll put that back so it it's, must have a lot of glowstone around here to keep this lit up. That's good. Let me get some more of these saplings. I want to make sure. Starting off in these uh, skyblock like series, you really should try to keep everything you can because you never know when you might need it. So anyway, this is the Philosopher's Stone. And what it does is it... Let me go over here. There we go. Ooh, that's kind of weird. It can change blocks to different things. So, like here's some dirt, right? And if I right-click... It changed it to sand. Or if I right click, it changed it to grass. Or sand again. Grass. So it can do different things depending on what the type is. I thought this would work with different other different things. Oh, I did a shift there and it went to cobblestone, see? And then stone. So you can make different items out of this, which is very, very cool for now okay so this orb the philosopher stone lets you transfer or make different items okay so let's continue on in just a second okay i think what we're going to do right now we're going to plant some more trees uh can't do that there. get some sticks here plant a few more trees now in this mod you can twerk so as you can see by pressing shift a bunch we get a lot of these uh trees to grow that's good and then we can basically go and harvest that but we're not going to do that yet we're going to look at our quest book here and right here it says to get four oak wood and we'll get a slime tool rod and a loot crate it has loot crates in here this is awesome so let's do that we have the four oak logs whoops so we're going to put that right there and we'll get this and this and that quest is now done Okay, you can see we got the slime rod. This is a tool for tinkers. We might do the tinkers construct uh, tables in a little bit. That's probably what's going to happen. We also get a loot crate. Let's open this up. You ready? And we got a poisonous potato. Isn't that great? Yep, that's just useful. Okay, so let's go on here on the quest book. The quest book has... You can make the, the sieve next or the wooden crook. I think we should go with this because this then I believe would give you um, silkworms and string. And with that, or sorry, silkworms, which would then get you string. And that would then give us um, the chance to make a bed. So let's do that first. So let's uh, make a crook over here, which means we have to make a crafting table. So that's pretty easy. There we go. I'm going to put the crafting table there. And what do we need here? We need some more sticks for a crook. There we go. And do that right there. And we have a crook. And that should meet this, this one's requirements here. Wooden crook. Doesn't consume. We get a bone one. Ten cents and a loot crate. So, okay. So let's open up our wallet here. And put our money away. There it is. I guess I can just right click on it. Maybe not. Uh, there it goes. And let's see, we got a loot crate. Let's open this one up. You ready? Here we go. Ooh, now this I like. If you've seen my other series, you know about the exchanger. This item lets you exchange items for another item you may have in your inventory. So instead of like if I want to click a block, for instance, let's use it right now. If I have like this wood block here, okay? Let me put one down. Let's see, I have 31 now in my inventory. If I go over here and hit shift, you see how the lines went green? Okay, and I press the right mouse button. It now says I will exchange this item um, for whatever you click on. So if we have this here and I right click, it instantly did it. And if you can see at the bottom there, down here, it went from 31 to 30. It used one and I gained this block. So I'm going to do this again and then I'm going to hit that and we get it back. That's very, very, very cool. So the exchanger is going to be a great tool to have. That's awesome. Okay, so now we have the crook. We have a bone one here. I want to basically uh, crook the leaves. I'm using the um, ore extraction. So I get all of them at the same time. And you can see here, I got eight silkworms. 
You can eat these if you cook them. You can use them for composting. You can use them to work on the trees. They're really, really useful. So let's, we're gonna put this on the trees in just a second. Let me get all of these here. Okay, there we go. Now let's uh, make some more twee tweez trees and twerk. There we go, I'm doing this a bunch. This is gonna be kind of fun here. Come on trees, you can do it. Wow, there we go, there's one. That's a big one too. So now we take these worms, okay? And you put them in places around this tree. And over time, it will infest the entire tree, and then we can get string out of it. So let me uh, let this infest for a little bit, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, the sun is getting down, and we need to really work on this pretty quickly because it's getting kind of dark. But this looks like it's been infested, so I'm going to, again, use the vein miner type of key. And I ran out with the, uh, the crook that I had. I'll use the other one that we made. Let's see if I can get more of this stuff. I care if I don't fall off. Wow, that one went away too. And I'm not sure if these things despawn if there's no tree. We're gonna try. There we go. There's no more trees so or wood, so it should. We'll see if it does this or not. But in the meantime here, let's grab this here. We have the ability to make some string, which goes into wool. There we go. Let's go and make a bed. Three there, three there. Awesome, we have a bed. Uh, I'm gonna put it, I don't know where. I don't know where. I don't wanna fall off the island. I'm gonna put it right here for now. And there we go. And we made sweet dreams. Excellent. Okay, so there are a lot of things that we can do here. And the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a chest. I think I can just go one like that and get four chests. That's great. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this block here. Hmm, that's hard to do. Maybe I should make a tool, an axe. How's that sound? For now, er, I still I need a pickaxe. I don't have enough. I made the wrong tool, but that's okay. We still have that tool. We'll go right here, we'll go with a pickaxe. And that's better. And then I'll put down the chests here. Now we have some space to store some stuff. That's excellent. Okay, we are going to work on, I think, next some other things I'm going to show you. We're going to keep that with us. I'm just trying to get rid of things that I don't want to lose, okay? So I would like to have uh, some planks here. Or not planks, some uh, slabs. There we go. I want to show you why. Because this here says a temple of some kind, question mark. If you hit that and you look here up at the top, it says painted wooden trap door. It's a trap door. And this is a ladder. There's an underground area here. We're going to go down. I'm going to get rid of this trap door because it can be a pain. And we're going to see what's down here. This will be kind of cool, I think. Here we go. We're down. Like a mine shaft down here. And there's spider webs. Probably I should make a sword. If I can get rid of the spider webs. Come on, let me out. There we go. Okay. Let's make a sword really fast. Uh hmm. No. And I probably can do two. There we go. So we'll do that and two of those. Make a sword. Okay. I'll grab the axe with me too, just in case. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go back down here. There we are. Now I can use the sword here. Get some string. Now over here, if you see, there is a sky stone chest. And it has all the, looks like the things from Reply Energistics. We'll take those. And I think we can grab this thing too, but it's very slow. And I'll come back and do that off camera, I think. Anyways, you're going through here. You got to be very careful because we are up in the sky. And if you look closely here, that's a pit. You don't want to go down there. So we'll fill that in, okay? So we're going to walk around here, do this some more, see what's up ahead. Okay, we're going to go around. There we go. Some more space here. Let's fill that in. Okay. We don't want to fall. There we go. And there's one right there. Okay, we're doing really well here. 
And you can see there's a chest. We'll get to that in just a second. All right, the sign says Rip Fire Chuck, Fire Clucky, a Fire Chucky, <laughs> Fire Clucky. Inside of here, we have a water chicken egg. That's really cool because that means we can uh, get water from it. And it looks like a lava egg. So what looks like here is raw chicken and lava egg is this was fire clucky and this was the water one. But we're going to grab this now. So basically we have a way to want to to make a cobblestone generator with that. And that's what we're going to try to aim for soon. Maybe not this video, but soon. So let's go down back up here. Okay, get on out. There we go. So we really need to get this uh, chicken out right away. And I'm going to put it somewhere... Uh, probably put it over there since we already have kind of a fence built for it. So let me get some of these fences and I'll use these. These will work out really well. Here we go. Okay, that should be enough, I would think. It may not be. Um, so we're going to go. We don't need a lot of space here. And we're going to take this water chicken egg and we're going to put them in here. And there it is, okay? Now, it's will lay an egg every 20 minutes but what kind of egg will it be well if we go out here and we look at the the water chicken here you can see this right here and it says it lays a water egg it uh, tells you how to breed it it will give off a water egg or manure or a feather or a regular egg so chickens are in this mod pack so we're going to be raising chickens probably in a little bit Let's work on some more quests, okay? What I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to... Usually with sieving, you need dirt. And to get dirt, you compost tree materials, which are going down this line. Did I even get this? Yeah, I got that one. I don't know why it's showing that. So we are here. we can, we got to make a hammer. Requires a wooden crook. So we need to make a hammer. And then we can make the wooden barrel and a diamond hammer. Well, we don't have diamonds yet. So let's make a hammer. There's the wooden hammer, right? Okay, so we'll go and get that quest done. Did that. We get eight dust, ten cents, and another loot crate. Okay. So let's go put the money in our wallet. Probably. Okay, there it goes. I probably should keep the wallet on me. I should probably put it away so we don't lose it. Um, okay, so we have that. We have a loot crate. I will open this up in a bit. They put that in the top chest. We'll open this up in a second. Okay, so now the next one we have to do here is let's do this here. This is a wooden barrel. So we need a wooden barrel. Let's make a few of these. I'm going to put these over here in this corner. So I need more of this, right? There we go. And I believe it's just like that with some of those. And we'll make three, four of these. Okay. And we'll have it right here. Oh, don't want to use it all yet. I want to make sure I get the the uh, quest done. So let's do that. We get four apples and five cents. Okay, now I can put this one down. And we got more money. Let's go get the money and put that away. Okay. I was gonna put that up there. Okay, so we did that quest. So now with this, if you take uh saplings here we go you can put saplings in here to get dirt like that and you can see it's composting the dirt and the percentage is going up we've seen this mechanic in other mod packs but now what i want to do is i want to make a sieve and i want to make a mesh for it okay so the sieve i believe is just like this i think there it is yes that makes that, and then you have that, which is the mesh. And there we go. Now, where am I going to put this? I think I should put it over here someplace. Um, this is in the way, but I'm going to put it right here for now. Okay? And there we go. But actually, before I do that, let me take that out and take that out, because I think we need it for the quest. Tinker's getting ahead of himself here. Let's go to the quest here. This one, sieve. We get pasture seeds. 25 cents, another loot crate. And then the string mesh, we just made that. Pumpkin seeds, melon seeds, a dollar bill, and another loot crate. Excellent. Okay. Now I'll put that down. So once we have that, if you look here, 
we have dirt. And the neat thing about dirt is you can use the sieve and you can run it through and it gives you other items. You see we got a stone pebble, got some regular seeds and an acacia seed. So that's what I'm going to be doing probably for a little bit here is trying to get more of these materials and getting that done. Let's go and put this money away. Okay, and a dollar and a quarter. We have three dollars, three fifty, three sixty, three seventy, three seventy five, three seventy, eighty one. Three dollars and eighty one cents so far. And that's pretty good. Now we also have you see there, I'm gonna put this away here. We have some loot crates we want to open. Okay, so let's open these three loot crates and see. We have a green one and two black ones. Common, common, and uncommon. Let's do the common first. And we got another poison potato. Those aren't very fun. And we got 16 baked potatoes. Okay, and this one here. Red alloy wire. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, it seems to be pretty cool. Um, we'll probably use that at some point. We'll figure out what that is. Okay. So, yeah, we're doing really, really well right now. So the next thing I think that I want to do is look at the quest and see if we can kind of point in the direction we want to go. Because it looks like we're going to be trying to make uh, flint meshes, probably and iron meshes, getting the stone barrel, getting the crucible, and eventually a transmutation cave, a table. That's something we can do. I want to see if we have the automatic cobblestone generator. Doesn't look like it's in here. Does anybody see it? I don't see it. So it looks like we're going to have to use an old school generator for now until we uh, find a way to make something like cobblestone or some other materials automatically. It's getting dark. It's getting very dark. Where is the bed? There it is. I thought I put it away. So, uh, okay. Let's see what's next. I have been working at cutting down trees, getting some resources. <laughs> we're going to go for this one right here, the stone barrel. We just have to make a stone barrel. You look at the recipe it just takes chiseled stone of various types and stone slabs so we basically have to get stone okay so let's go get some stone right now i have been working on making some dirt with this stuff that i've cut down now the interesting thing here if you recall we have that stone that can transmute this stuff so let's make all of this into stone okay There we go, cobblestone and that. There we go. So you have to hit it uh, once and twice. And that's what we're going to do here. And then when we have that, we'll have all the pieces we need. Okay. Now that we have that, let me mine that up real quick. Oh, it's cobblestone. That's right. If we hit it with that, it'll turn to cobblestone. So we need to cook it up to make it into regular stone. Because we didn't have silk touch. Tinker forgot about that. Well, let's make some of that. But see, you can see how easy it would be to make this, and then you can get cobblestone pretty quick. Let me uh, put this up here. Let's get some fuel, and we're going to make some more stone. So I'm going to have to get some more dirt. Let me get more dirt, and we'll see if we get the pieces that we need to make this stone barrel. Okay, here we go. Here's the last of that. And there we go. We're going to put it in here. And then when I get back, we'll have enough to make what we need for the stone barrel. Oh, we just had an egg pop, I think. Yes, we did. There we go. All right. So now we have this egg right here. Now, there is a quest for this. I'm going to grab this too. And we're going to do that right now. Let's go to the quest book. Right here, water egg consumes it let's consume it right now we'll get a clay chicken 10 cents and an epic loot crate okay there we go clay chicken now i'm gonna put that clay chicken in here right now so that we can maybe get clay out of it too free clay i'll take it and let's go back here to get our money and we're gonna put 10 more cents in there and we're going to open this up in just a little bit, okay? This should be just about done. It's not quite yet. We need we need three here to make the stone slabs. There we go. And we need five more. So we're almost there. It's almost ready to go. And we're going to have the stone barrel. This is pretty good. Now, I got another tree here. Let's start to crook this thing up. 
These crooks do not last long at all, and there isn't a compressed version of it, so you just kind of have to do your best and not fall off. Uh, sometimes I've had to go up, to pillar up to get to the place where I need to go. Oh, we're running out of food, too. Can we eat up the quick here? There we go. Okay. And let's see. Let's grab this here. And can we grab that? No. Because this block's in the way. Not anymore. We'll get it real quick here. We'll vein mine it. And then we should be able to go up and still crook the upper pieces. There we go. And that crook on. I got a bunch of crooks on me. Just because these things just do not last at all. Let's see. Can we get any more? Oh, that can get that side there. They'll despawn. Let's go on down here. Um, I could probably survive a fall. Ow. Okay, there we go. Grab all this stuff. Yeah, so we got a bunch of materials. There we go. Okay, let's get this done here. Here we go. We have that. And if we do this and this and one of these, we have made a stone barrel. Okay, so let's go do the quest book. And stone barrel it is. Give a stone barrel. Doesn't consume it. We get four dirt. We can make dirt. That's easy. So the next thing we're going to have to do, and we're probably going to do this in the next episode, is make a crucible and then make the transmutation table. Okay? We're doing really well so far, though, I think, in this series. We're starting out. What do we have here? Oh, saplings that we have. I think we're doing really, really well. We've got a good start. we got the ability to sieve, and we got the ability to make dirt. We can make water and clay. Next thing I'll do with the water, probably make a water source. We need to get some cobblestone going. But we're doing really, really well. Well, everybody, I think that's all I've got time for for this video. I hope you liked it. I'm really enjoying the series. I like how clean everything is, and I like how they have managed to make everything work together. Um, this is, looks to be a very fun pack to work with. So until next time, I am Tinker77. Thank you for joining me. If you like this video, please, you there, you there, click that like button. If you have any comments, put them in the comment section. We like to hear those comments as YouTubers, so it gives us a little gauge of what we can do better or what we can improve on and also if you're new here please subscribe also if you'd like to uh, be notified of the videos i produce please subscribe to this channel don't forget to hit the little bell icon that way you get the notifications sometimes you don't if you don't press the little bell icon yeah i want to thank everybody for coming out have a great day bye bye